This story is so crazy they should make a movie out of it. This is Tonda Dickinson. And she was a waitress at Waffle House. And apparently as a tip, one of her customers gave her a lottery ticket that he already played. And a couple days later, she found out that she won $10 million in a lottery ticket. And like anybody else, we'd be ecstatic, happy, quit our job the next day and have the best life ever. But no, Tonda's life went so crazy after she won this lottery ticket. First, her co-workers sued her. She said that she was going to split some of the winning lottery ticket with her co-workers and they sued her when they won. If you didn't know, if you tell people when you win a lottery ticket that you're going to give them some money out of it, you are legally obligated to give them some money out of it. They could sue you for that. If you say it and you phrase it the wrong way, that's why when you win a lottery ticket, you're supposed to just go somewhere and not tell nobody. Don't even tell your spouse or nobody. Because apparently after her co-worker sued her, the guy that gave her the lottery ticket sued her too because he said that she said she's going to give him a truck. And I'd be tight too if I gave somebody a lottery ticket with numbers I played and they won $10 million on it and I gave it away to them. That's the old ultimate bad luck. Imagine playing a winning lottery ticket and instead of giving your waitress a five dollar tip, ten dollar tip, you could have you gave her a lottery ticket that won millions, ten millions. But then that's not the craziest part about the story. So her ex-husband kidnapped her. He kidnapped her and tried to get some of the winning lottery proceeds and she took his gun and shot him with it. Her ex-husband dead kidnapped her and she took his gun and shot him with it. Again, the story is crazy. I told you it could be a whole movie. Can we talk about it? So her hus ex-husband kidnapped her, took her somewhere to some abandoned thing. This is really turned into a Lifetime movie, I'm telling you, or a big screen movie. Margot Robbie, if you're watching, I got the script for this. Because, again, she's getting sued by all her coworkers, getting sued by um, the person who gave her the lottery ticket, and she get kidnapped by her ex-husband all over this money. Mind you, she ain't even collecting on this money yet. She only got a little bit of the money. So, because everybody started suing her, so they froze the assets of the money. So, she didn't even get the money yet. She's got all these headaches before she even got any dollar out of them, $10 million. So, apparently... Um, then after that, the government tried to sue her to take taxes out their money. So, again, this is all happening on the same time while she won this money. Again, we all be wanting to hit the lottery. But, again, I hit the lottery. It's all worth it. $10 million is worth it. Give me the pain. Give me the pain. So, again, her life just went topsy-turvy. She literally was just a mild man. That, she didn't even play the lotto ticket. That's the craziest part about the story. I told you she got it as a gift, as a tip from one of the patrons, one of her customers. So again, he's mad. Her coworkers is all trying to sue her, literally. You know how waitress is, there's a bunch of them on a ship. Oh, I'm gonna split it with you if I win. Oh, a customer gave me a ticket, um, a lottery ticket. If I win, I'll give y'all some. She said it jokingly, but actually won 10 million when she checked it days later. So again, they all try to sue you, sue her. And then her ex-husband kidnapped her. Mind you, she's married to a new man. He's out looking for her. And everybody's trying to sue her, and she get kidnapped by her ex-husband, talking about, I want some of the money, too. Again, do you see how this movie plot? Again, we all want to hit the lotto, but it's what comes with the lotto. You, they always say a mad lotto, people that win the lotto, they go broke a few years later. And mind you, she kept some of the money, so after all of this, um, she ended up keeping the majority of the money. I told you, she shot and killed her ex-husband. That's the craziest part, so I'm going to put that in the center of the movie. Like, after all the winning a lotto ticket, we're going to start it real nice. Margot Robbie, if you're watching, we're going to start it real nice. We're going to get you the big hair, too. And this happened in the early 90s, too. So if you're Googling the story, this happened in the early 90s. Um, so, again, I just found it as a fascinating story. Because, again, it's just so fascinating. You win the lotto, and then everything goes wrong. So it's like you, we all want to win this big prize money, but then everything goes wrong in your life, and everything just goes crazy when you end up having to shoot your ex to escape because they're trying to win some lotto ticket money. Then you didn't even play the lotto ticket. So you was just having a regular day as a waitress and your whole life just got flipped around because a guy gave you a lotto ticket. This really sounds like a movie, right? It sounds like some horror movie. Like the guy who gave it a lotto ticket was like the devil. Well, he was Satan on the low. Can we talk about it? He gave it a lotto ticket. Like, here, you can win a lot of money, but a lot of BS is going to come with you winning this money. And I just thought it was a fascinating story to share with y'all. Y'all know we do things at the head to copy show. Mm. TheCopyShow.com will be up this weekend. You can get your mugs, you can get your t-shirts, your hats. You can actually get um, five minutes to talk to me in DMs for $5. I'll talk to you about all your problems. You can DM me five you five minutes, five questions. I mean, we can talk about it. Can we talk about it? 
again, imagine winning a lotto ticket and everything just goes upside down and it culminates in your ex trying to dead kidnap you for money. You didn't even play the lotto. You, she didn't even gamble, probably. But the crazy thing is about the funniest thing about all of this, she's now working in a golden nugget. She ended up going back to work because there was so much of being a millionaire. She said, have F it. I'm going back to work. Can we talk about it? Crazy story. Tonda Dickerson. Google it.